right. Uh, probation, this is an application for deferred. Court is calling 2023 CR 2906 State of Texas versus Summer Munoz. Can I have the parties announced for the record for the state? Lindsay Shaw for the state. Defense? Uh, Suzanne Kramer for Ms. Munoz. Are you Ms. Munoz? No. Counsel, you received all the discovery. Did you review it with your client? Yes, Judge. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Munoz, I'm showing you what's entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did yes. you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with uh, tampering with the government record or license or seal? That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that the court would grant your application for deferred adjudication if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked? The court could find you guilty and sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Judge. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? She does. Do you believe uh, she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do. Okay. According to the plea, there's a $1,500 fine. State recommends deferred adjudication. They will take in consideration 2023 CR 2907. <laughs> County Court cause numbers 667-964-685-144 and 700047. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, Judge. State? Yes, ma'am. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. Uh, there is a request that your deferred adjudication be for a term of four years. There'd be a TAP evaluation and 150 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, then to the offenses charge, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? State offer states exhibit one and all attached. No objection. All right, the review states exhibits one and attachments. The court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Uh, is there anything you would like to say on behalf of your client? A judge, at this point, uh, my client wishes to waive the PSI and do the TAPI vow as a part of her deferred adjudication probation. Um, and then go ahead and go along with the rest of the plea bargain agreement. All right. Is there anything you wish to say? No. All right. Do you have any children? Yes, ma'am. What are their ages and how many do you have? I have one. She's going to be seven. Um, I say. And where is she now? She's with my um, brother-in-law. All right. So you don't have custody of her? I do have custody, but she, she's with the man for him. All right. If you drug tested today, what are the results going to be? And before you answer, note that you will give me a drug test today. All okay. right. So what are the results going to be? Uh, okay. Dirty for what? We. And what else? That's it. All right. Where well, are we going to check on that? Uh, can I get a UA? And we'll come back. And so that will be done today. Mm -hmm. So do you still wish to stick with just weed? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll we'll come back. Many unbearable hours later. All right. We're back on the record in 2023 CR 2906, State of Texas versus Sonia. Summer moon use. All right. So what did you test positive for? Um, and you want to go back to I only use marijuana with me? No. I can't refer to marijuana and you, I'm sorry. Can you speak up and could you uncross your arms? You're not a little girl. We're not in a classroom. You are in a felony court yes, where you could potentially go to prison. So what are you been using? Oh, uh, meth and marijuana. When's the last time you used meth? Um, like two days ago. No, it's more than two days ago. How often are you using? Um, I just got out of jail, so I haven't been using that often. Well, I mean, you've been, you went straight from jail to use meth. Don't give me attitude. I'm not. You've been dishonest with the court. You made them waste of, you think UAs just are free? You made them wa waste a UA telling me that you're going to be positive for marijuana only when I knew it was not going to be the case. And now you're positive for meth, amphetamines, and marijuana. So who are you using with? Are you using by yourself in a dark room? Or are you using with some boyfriend? Who are you using no, with? No, actually where I'm staying at. And where is that? Um, with a friend. Who is this friend? Her name is um, Natasha. All right. I like the way you make up names. I no. can't believe anything you're telling me now because you were dishonest about the drug use. It's the only place I have to stay at right now. So I'm in day use and it's just, it was tempting. Yeah. All right. So um, 
I'm going to want a tap evaluation ASAP, please. Are you employed? No. So how are you supporting yourself? Um, I'm not. <laughs> so who's supporting you? Nobody. Well, what are you eating other than drugs? Oh, I have food stamps. I'm sorry, what? I have food stamps. Who's giving you food stamps? You don't have your child with you. Those food stamps are for your child. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just recently applied and I got approved for emergency food stamps. I cannot understand a word you're I saying. I applied and I got approved for emergency food stamps. I know people who really should have food stamps don't, that don't get approved. So you don't have your child with you. You're using meth. You're probably selling your food stamps for meth. And this is a tampering with a government record. So I don't even know if you obtain your food stamps legitimately. So what did you tell them in order to get food stamps? Because you don't qualify. Okay. I think she's probably going to end up with another criminal case. Yes. Because uh, I don't know. I don't know of the government giving out food stamps to people who won't work. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have your child with you. Somebody else is taking care of your child. I have to look for work. That was like one of the conditions that um, they gave me in order to get food stamps. So I'm supposed to be going to the workforce. Well, you're obviously doing a poor job of it. But I tell you what, you're in this court. You're going to have employment. I'm not going to, you know, the, the length of probation is outside uh, the agreement. So it's going to be more than four years in this court because she has a lot of work that needs to be done to, I don't know why you're giving me the attitude. No, I'm not trying to. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. Either that or it's because you're high. I don't know which one it is, but you're giving me attitude and that attitude will most likely be readjusted by me at the Bear County Jail. So I don't know if your attorney told you this. But I can send you to the Bear County Jail as a condition of this probation. And I can also send you to the state jail facility as a condition of this probation for attitude readjustment. Do you want that? Hmm. All right. So I'm going to sentence her to six years deferred adjudication. You're getting a job and there are plenty of jobs that are available. You're going to knock your pride aside. And if you're going to be flipping burgers at McDonald's or working on fries, you're going to be the best fry person you can be until you move up. You understand? Yes, ma'am. How far did you go in school? Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Why did you drop out? I had a problem at home. What were these problems? You using drugs? No, not necessarily. Just like things that were going on with my mom and my mom's marriage and everything else. And what's that tattoo on your neck? My neck says only the Trump's birth. All right. People love to put down sands on their bodies because they can't remember them. All right. It's going to be a $1,500 fine probated proof of employment. And it's going to be proof of full-time employment within 15 days. If you have to get two part-time jobs, you will get two part-time jobs for the court. Full-time employment is at least 40 hours a, a week. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Has Child Protective Services been in your life? Yes. And so were your rights terminated? No. Mm -hmm. What happened to your parental rights? Uh, I still have my rights, but I just don't have my daughter. The, my counter disagreed to um, take care of me until I get, I mean, take care of my daughter until I get back on my feet. Parenting classes, and I want intensive parenting classes. There's to be 150 hours of community service restitution. That will not be waived. She has to do those. You're either going to get your DE, GED or either you're going to get some sort of trade certificate. Take in consideration 2023-CR-2907, County Court Cause Number 667964-685144. Seven zero zero four seven. I'm going to want a referral to felony drug court, tap evaluation. Uh, if she's not accepted in felony drug court, we'll start with intensive outpatient treatment with um, probation. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. The UA hotline, and she's to be tested once a week. Make sure the levels are going down. If the levels start uh, going up, issue a motion to revoke. And I'm going to want field visits one time per week until further notice. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? Oh, I'm sorry, one time per month. Probation would have got a shock. Um, that would be all. 
Anything else you need from the court to be successful? We can go off the record. So that tattoo you have about only the strong will survive, that's the mode that your child is being in. And your child should not be in that. Her parents should not be using drugs. Her parents should get her life together. And somebody else should not be raising your child. And you just 100% living off the government, that's not going to happen in this court. You get another job. Do you understand? And if you got those food stamps illegally, you better turn them in because your counsel can tell you what the government does. They wait till your food stamps, when you take those monies from the government and you shouldn't have it, they wait till it becomes a felony. Then they turn it in. Do you understand? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Will you hand me my screen box? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Ma'am? Ma'am? Can you hear it? No, no. Okay. Uh, I have no, no patience for that. And trust me, out of the day, I'm sitting up here, I'm the one that needs a drink.